Alright, greetings and welcome to another episode of my Survival World series. We are here on Seinfields and Seinfields. And today is a little special. Um, if I can count correctly, this is my 100th video. Um, not really, to be honest. Um, I have many uh, videos unlisted and privatized which don't count, but I have 100 public videos as of this one, I believe. Get all these. And I don't really have anything planned special because, um, because it's not really my 100th. Um, well, it's just not something... Very landmarky, I guess. Don't know why I came up in here, but I did. Show you my wheat farm. Fancy. <laughs> um, but I did do something I'm quite happy is done. Um, if you're a little bit attentive to every single corner of the screen, because I accidentally revealed it a few times. You would have seen what I finished, what I finally finished, and if you're attentive to the whole series, you might have guessed it by now, but it's complete. The whole dome is complete. Every glass block is finally placed. Oh man, what a pain. So... If you're unaware, this is Seinfeld's original goal was to have every single possible farm in this small area. Um, it slowly is coming together, I guess. Um, I started with the tree farm, had an egg farm, a wheat farm, a melon and pumpkin farm that were redesigned, a seed and gravel, a seed and flower generator, pea smurf made by Static originally and the goal was to originally cover the whole thing in glass and the whole dome and that was back in well when 1.8 came out beta 1.8 so quite a while ago a couple months and every episode that I've released on here over the time I've slowly went down a few layers by layers down Maybe one or two an episode. And then I stopped right around here. Um, at the end of last episode. And... I just wanted to get it done. I just wanted to get it finally done. And... I did. I got it finished. Um, it helps placing torches on glass. Because um, you can place it around corners. And... What I did... To help speed it up a lot actually was start from the bottom, start from this lowest layer way down there through the glass and work my way up because then I actually had a place to stand on while I was building up as opposed to building every single walkway every time I went down the layer. I also used signs, this sign actually, um, to go put numbers like this that may mean nothing right but um, it's actually for, for helped me out a lot um, let's see if I can't go down basically what it's mapping out is a quad uh, octant if that's a word one eighth of this spherical type shape circular type shape around if I could meet the center where the water is, right here, I counted one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you go in one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this might be one of the. Exactly what I just wrote. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, two. Actually, nope. Two, two, twos without the ones. So 5565222 was this row I just mapped out. And it's basically from that midpoint to the uh, 
diagonal downwards. Um, from the start, like from the very beginnings of the project, I had the diagonal downwards complete. And I had the curve straight, uh, straight parallel with the lines complete as well. And early on, I also had this quadrant I'm actually standing in completely dirt um, and all already mapped out perfectly uh, as uh, how I wanted it to be mapped out. And I basically started at this uh, eighth of the circle, uh, counted out the dirt blocks, replaced it with glass, and then reversed it for this eighth. Um, we did it for this next eighth over here to this diagonal. Uh, did it reversed again for this bit. Uh, did it across again and went all the way around like that every time. Um, eventually, I got down low enough to um, have it so I didn't need to fill in everything with glass all the way around like I did up there it's all the way around the glass but then it started kind of forming in with the mountain that glass is not missing okay and then um, I started it just kept going down um, when it became confusing like parts like here I started at this midpoint and worked backwards a bit just to get it straightened out and this bit was actually it actually uh, gets cut off quite abruptly by the mountain when I'm circling around that way. But when I'm circling around this way, uh, clockwise, um, I have this nice diagonal that goes right there. If you can't see it, um, it's right there. And I worked backwards from there, and it was fairly easy to get this little bit done. Uh, a blight being it seemed daunting at first. But it's finally done. Every glass block is placed. I do have plans on putting stone bricks along beneath all the glass on the bottom. So I uh, replace this grass that has a glass block over it. That's tricky to say. Grass below glass. With stone bricks and then... Maybe adding a little more perimeters so like all these grass would be stone bricks too. Oh, that's not a torch. Like that. And then com kind of complete it so it fits smoother. Also, the base um, originally went down to a certain level, but at certain parts like this, this very tall section over here. And they're griefing. I hate it. It's all over the place. But like these tall sections down here, um, basically this was the ground level right around here actually. And when it went down further, I just went straight down. So at the ground level, I'm also thinking of adding just a straight solid line of stone brick all the way around just for an effect. Um, I'm also thinking about adding torches on top of the glass to help light it up at night. Even though mobs don't spawn, I just think it might look better lit up. Oh, yes. It also helps completing this with both Ender Pearls and Feather Falling for. Because uh, I've used so many Ender Pearls, but I do have a ton of it from the Ender Pearl farm. And now I'm up here. And it's good. But, um,. So that's me completing this is just my way of celebrating a hundred officially public videos on YouTube. Um, I still have grass to remove that's in the center. And just a lot of cleanup generally. The roads aren't to my liking. Partic uh, this exit road isn't as perfect as, as I would like. Um, the roads aren't even complete down on this end with the Obsidian and cobble generator and the peace smurf and in 1.9 pre-release there's even a chance of a lava farm a lava um, infinite source for lava. Yep, 
this this place is built for every single possible farm, including water farms, <laughs> vine farms, <laughs> egg farms. Um, all the animals will be do, to be included eventually. Um, this was originally a mob trap designed for Endermen, as you can see with the furnace. However, it's, they kind of deactivated itself since apparently Endermen could grab gravel through glass. Yeah, boggles my mind. <laughs> And it even has a mob grinder with the skelly, skelly grinder. Not many bones left, but this is, in fact, he's flooding everything. Oh good, the door stopped it. But rather, you can hear the skeletons in there now. Um, everything needs to be improved still. Um, but including maybe hiding this redstone. I don't know. Although you can't see it unless you're up above. Looks kind of nice from this view though. I don't know. Uh, the melon farms were nice originally, but I re-edited it to be more productive. All these eggs. Um, I need the passive mob still. I need a snow generator and an ice generator for with the snowman and ice. And I could do that by um, let's just... Oop. Oh, dang it. It's outside. Well, over this fountain is a huge ice biome. You might notice it from the Hall of Subscribers. And... Yep, you see a little bit of the snow right there. It's still an ice biome, despite the transitions. And I'll probably have an ice generator there and a bunch of pistons pushing the ice through the mountains to end up Maybe beneath here, actually. I also need to redo the mushroom farms. Um, both the ability to grow huge mushrooms, which require pure darkness now, which will mean I'll need to go underground and have redstone lamps that trigger off the lights so I could actually grow the mushrooms. As well as an old school mushroom farm that just has them grow naturally in darkness that needs to be done. But. Yeah. Also, um, plan on building more farms outside the base that are far more productive because inside the base is only just like a little taste. Like this is a good wheat farm but fairly insufficient. I eat the wheat faster than it could grow and that's not really cool. I don't like that about it. So I need a huge wheat farm. I have Rainbow Road for all my sheep. And a little project going on in Rainbow Road, which I'll go, go to later. Um, but yeah, just generally expanding out, and this is just for a little taste. Iron. Look at all the iron blocks. <laughs> but, Sheepy, you're falling down off your pedestal, aren't you? Wasn't that sheep way up there once? And wasn't there a sheep way... There was a sheep way back, and now it's gone. And interesting enough, there's also, I guess, the cow, who I trapped in here because he fell through it down in there. And we have the guest pig from a long while ago. But Sign Fields, that's the name, Sign Fields. For those of you who don't know, and I don't use single player commands on this world by the way, that's my map making mod, but Piggy, hello, oink, oink, but I also plan on showing off two more areas, Rainbow Road updates and um, the village. Finally, you get to see my progress on the village I made quite a while ago. And we'll see that soon. But if you haven't noticed this whole time, I don't know if it's still going or not because I don't know how long I've been recording now, but I've been time lapsing it. Hopefully, a picture in picture. Um, I recently uncovered advanced options in iMovie, which is my video editor. And in it includes picture in picture, it includes green screen, chroma keys, it includes 
Um, blue and green screen, picture in picture. I believe those are the two main ones, but I want to do that. Um, in the time lapse, you saw that uh, me completing the last two rows on this um, dome. Um, I wanted to catch that on camera, and a time lapse was the best option, and a picture in picture was even better because I could explain it at the same time. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't paid attention in Hunger Games Season 2, which is going on, um, I suggest you watch it. It's quite a fun series. Um, but I also have picture in picture. A. A. See? see? See this madness? No. No, oh, dang it. He escaped. I hate Enderman. Hate them. But, what was I saying again? Rudely interrupted by a griefer. Griefer be griefing. Very frustrating. Oh yes, picture in picture editing. Oh, Hunger Games Season 2. I also had a picture in picture there. Um, instead of displaying the names of people when they die, I've ex I posted a picture of their head, their little Minecraft head. Um, so when they die, you see their head pop up with the place that they were in. There are 20 people total, so first to die is 20th place, second to die was 19th, so on and so forth. And that's just like a taste of I could do. I'm. I'm looking. I'm very excited about this editing opportunities that picture and picture and um chroma key blue blue and green screen can offer. Quite excited about that and looking forward to playing around with those tools more. There are there only two pumpkins, but. Ooh, I jumped right over that pressure plate. I wouldn't be able to do that again. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to those editing tools and looking forward to editing these the best I can because that's what I want more more than producing a lot of content, I want to produce good content. Good quality stuff. Um, other games won't be coming anytime soon from what I've seen from what I have planned. But I hope to have other games eventually. I might play N on the origins of my online life. That's why my IGN is I'm bad at N. Because N is a video game and I'm bad at N was me making a pun based on that game. And I might play through that. It all depends on how settings go. Um, and if I could get permission from Mayor and Reagan, the creators, uh, and yeah, harvest reeds twice. Oh yes, that's what I wanted to do. Let's just dump trash in here for now. But books are coming, and I'm quite excited for that as a map maker. Um, I don't know how many of you follow R.S. Malik. Um, he's an adventure map creator, and he's quite excited about books too. It's one of the two things he's been requesting a lot recently: um, books, editable books, and support for 32p texture packs. But books are coming, and they require leather now, and I don't have a good cow system set up ever since 1.7.3, my 1.7.3 farm got shut down, so I just want to make, make a ton of books like that before, in before the update, so to speak. I believe editable books require a book, a quill, an uh, ink sack. Oh man, there's no easy way to farm squids. And I need a squid farm in here, I just realized. 
probably a huge water tank inside the mountain that drains somewhere. I don't know. Maybe like this chicken farm where it's suspended over signs. Have a huge tank suspended over signs and the squids will eventually fall through and swim to the bottom. And then get pushed by water currents. Something like that. But this is all farms needed and that needs to be in here. Um, this is a slime farm. So I even have that. Unproductive. I think it's a bad seed, but bad spot, but whatever. <sighs> what was I gonna say? Map makers oh yes, mapping. That's the next update. Um Map Map Makers have been given a lot of cool stuff to deal with recently. Um Editable books, dispensers that shoot a ton of new stuff like mob eggs, mine carts, and boats, and upcoming updates. Um, all sorts of cool things. And as a map maker, I'm quite excited about all these updates. But recently, I've been kind of slow in doing map making stuff. Um, I attribute, attribute this to uh, the fact that I've strictly dealt with PvP maps before, rather it be my Race for Wool series or Destroy the Core maps. Um, let's actually harvest this. Because it's close enough. But, I've been kind of slow because I haven't been really in the mood to map PvP maps, and it's the only thing I've been used to, well, ever, and I just want that to change. Whoops. So, um, with all these new updates, I'm hoping to maybe start branching into adventure maps, or puzzle maps, and CTM maps, which is strictly player versus environment, and... I re-picked up a CTM map I started a while ago. Um, the theme is Hyrule uh, from Ocarina of Time. However, unlike the direct scale models that I've always felt were very stale, um, this is rather my own in interpretation of Hyrule as seen in Ocarina of Time. So Kakiri Forest looks vastly, vastly different than what is appears in Ocarina of Time, including the fact that Makar, the little wooden guy in Wind Waker, has his own house in the forest. Whoops, I don't want to put that in. See, wheat farm only 52. That's not so sustainable. Ooh, unlit spot. Oh dear. <laughs> I was lucky. Get knocked back. Get punched five. And I did not light that up, did I? But I've been getting into that. I'm also planning perhaps a puzzle map in the near future. There we go. That should be enough. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, ow. And, just general map making stuff. Um, trying to get back into it. I'm try to, trying to stay away from PvP style maps for a while because I've worn myself out making them. But, I'll get to them eventually. Um, until then you can enjoy what I already produced. And, if you collab with me and I'm watching this, I'm sorry about, uh, dropping out like this for now but hope you understand it just never I'm whenever I map make I go through phases of me being really inspired and me being heavily uninspired and this is just one of those uninspired times it's nobody's fault not even my own and that's right I need to light up the top of this because there was a spider here earlier and Possibly up the top of up there. 
and just trying to get back into it slowly. A uh, different genre will help out a lot, I think. Uh, when I was a map maker with N, I I um dang it. I had these phases too. Um, long periods of drought in between map series and a ton producing lots of maps because that has the ability to produce maps more quickly than here. Much more quickly. And that's just how I roll, I guess. But I've rambled on long enough. Enough with the updates. Enough with knowing me a little bit better since I'm not really open about that. Um, now you have a little glimpse. Just a little bit bigger, I guess. But on to... Um, I think I'll go to the village next and show that off because that was quite a while ago and kind of want to explore it for myself. We explore it for myself as well. So I'll see you over at the village. Finally at our village. My little bed post. Going to sleep. The villagers uh, spying on me. What do I have in here? Lots of mossy. I like it. Get out of my house. Okay, fine. I'll just stare. But, as you can see, I worked a lot. I added kind of a triple stare. Seriously? Stop. <laughs> triple stare? I like this look. Um, wooden stairs leading up to the house. Cobblestone stairs on either side. And... I make that all around on the pathways. I have the wooden stairs in the middle blocks, cobblestone on the edges, hedges, and the almighty castle walls with the very broken down, unfinished door. But hey, it's just a door. Tree farm, more resources, gold, very useful in other game styles. But Oh hey, I forgot about this. We could use it to our advantage. Nom 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 nom. And... Here is the village. <laughs> Quite like how it's turning out so far. Um, still a little bit to do. Um, there are finished greenhouses and then untouched greenhouses. To compare, there are the walls are mostly finished all the way around except the um, towers in the back. So you can see. Um, for reference, though, it would actually be the front since everything else in the whole world is that direction compared to this village. So that would be like the front, and this would be the back. And that's my house. Um, there's a ton of wheat here. Um, if you recall, there was all five villagers at the start. Ooh, that's the most important thing, actually. However, we'll take a tour of this because I don't want to backtrack. Here is a greenhouse. Um, glass roof to let the wheat grow during the day, as well as jack-o'-lanterns all around in the corners. As well as a door for the villagers to treat it as an actual house. Which I quite like. Um, this is a double greenhouse. Um, I believe I did have to move move these farms like over a few blocks from where they originally were, just so they could fit better with the uh, um, the roads and stuff. Like this is the main road; it's four wide, and so I think I moved these two. Um, what are they? Blanking out these two farms back that direction one block, which isn't that hard. You just have to like remove all these logs at the, each end and then just kind of like move it all over one. A lot of it's just re repetitive. Villager. Sorry, you're stuck in there. But here are the original five. The first librarian, the first blacksmith. The first, are you a baker? I believe you're a baker. The first priest and the first farmer. 
I originally said there are six villagers, and there are six in the code, but there is the green one of all of them is unused. Why are you just staring at me? Go get a life. Salute. Oh my goodness. You like right in my face, too. Thank you. And yes, I do get a massive zombie apocalypse. Um, despite it being completely lit, zombies spawn in oh, crazy pack sizes about like 10 to 15. And they're just like in one line and I'll just see one villager. It's quite funny, but that's how it just seems to go. And um, some weird stories in this village. Like somehow... An iron golem always manages to get himself trapped in this little garden area every single time. So I just removed the fences so they won't enter here anymore. But when the fences were here, like, every three minutes there's an iron golem in there. I have no clue how they got in. Um, they, I don't think they could jump one and a half blocks. And I don't think they could be able to get on this roof. So they must have been spawning in there. Um, or glitching in there. I do have quite a fair bit of iron golems though because as you can see there's a billion villagers in here. Um, mostly built, mostly done in with that villager duplication of breeding bug. And you can see there's a lot of golems to represent that too. Um, I, although uh, this is what that was unintentional though. I did not plan to breed them. They just started we didn't like rabbits, and that's how it turned up. We have an enchanting table here, and just a couple designs. This very small farm, uh, garden, um, not farm. I do have a few custom houses, like this one, and these are mostly to fill in the. Why are you? Oh my goodness, I'm going to lose my mind in here. Maybe that's why I postponed the project for quite a while. So I was losing my mind. <laughs> but like to fill in these gaps, I was building houses. Like this whole corner here was actually empty. So I also built this house too. That has an upstairs to it. That you can see they're quite enjoying, which makes me happy. And there's also the mine need to fix that that's for sure um this village this uh house does have air blocks above it as you can see um i'm not sure how that works but i do know that i do need the air some sort of sky access to the roof or something crazy or something i don't really understand fully so the villagers haven't come down here yet because i haven't expanded here however i did work on this come on now you should be able to spawn it's a zombie spawner by the way there you go see with this uh, the top half slabs on the roof and the bottom half slabs on the ground they were able to see me instantly so they'll check me instantly and and then around the edges is a Two high block and then a, two blocks of air and then water. So they'll freely on their own walk off. And then their water streams will force them down into the center again. And then they'll fall down into a little chute. And the idea behind this is I could stand beneath where they wouldn't be able to see me. But villagers would be running around all over the place. So when the zombies spawn, they would attack the villagers, and then the, the villagers would power the zombies so then for them to instantly fall off. And that's my idea behind that. That's a bit dark. However, I do need a ton of skylights still for this to be able to fully work. Um, yeah, I also have this room. Above. I don't know why I added this in because it was a while ago, but I do have an observatory platform. I was thinking of adding doors up here. See what happens with that. 
and um, I did explore this part originally. I might have shown a zombie spawner, I don't know. These were the loots from the chest and what I called blood blood loot at one point. Well, I have been colonizing this ravine too, um, slowly. Ow. But it has been my uh, mission for ever since ravines came out actually for me to colonize it. Um, ravines came out in 1.8 and I ever since I've wanted to like build something crazy inside a ravine. I almost did once. I brought grass down to the bottom and covered it all in grass and made it like a little jungle but it was fair, very undeveloped and then this was on the server and the server got reset so it's kind of disappointing but I have been having that wanting to go uh, that goal for some time and um, I think I might pick it up again also in this ravine very close by is Is this it? Yes, the spider spawner. Normal spiders. What is this? Pick silk touch. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did get a golden record. Uh, 50 mossy. Quite cool. And on the bottom is nothing yet except a strip mine with all the diamond taken elsewhere. Um, this strip mine will eventually be converted into some sort of housing district. Although, those would be super tall um, skylights that I need. Oh, visitor. Power 5. Power 5. <laughs> I believe I said punch in the other bit. There's also some cave spiders I could cave spider spawners nearby from what I remember. But I won't go exploring too far. Actually, I think I know where they are, but if they're not there, then we won't deal with them. But I did want to come back and say that I think this is a three way mine shaft intersect uh D-way intersection of a mine shaft. I came down here. Need to go up, right? Yes. Oh, somehow I looped back. Yeah, I went down there, but up here. Yeah, this is a three-way mine shaft. From what I believe, what I've seen, I think it could be. Um, let me show you my reasoning behind that. Here, mob. Oh, there they are. There's one cave spider. And if there's a three-way mine mine shaft, oh, be looted. Whoa, there's a lot of mobs down here. Lots of mobs. Yeah, I guess you can see there's some strangeness going on with all the fences and all that. Um, oh. Are they all coming down from here? Okay. Hmm. Alright. I don't have any torches or sticks. And I kind of want to keep the feel of this mine shaft untouched. Um, let's just close that off. But, where is this? I'm looking for something particular. Not a ravine. Yeah, this is highly unexplored, actually. Hmm. Do I have better food so I don't have to chomp this in your face? Nope. Gold. Um, we don't need golden apples though. And alright, yes, right here, right here. Okay, so we have this one dirt 
the strange dirt room and a mine shaft going right over it. So that's clear that we have at least two. Obvious, right? Here's the other dirt room. Holy cow. That scared me. And the third dirt room is somewhere close by, which makes me believe that there's three. Because there's three dirt rooms. One of the, sus the, the suspicious dirt rooms. Jeez, I'm also lagging a bit. Don't know why, though. Maybe I should have closed some other programs out before recording, too. Um, but I did try Optifine today. And it was lagging pretty bad for Optifine <laughs> compared to normal. I had to, like, restart this whole bit of the commentary. Just because it was lagging too much to really continue, even. Ooh, another spawner. Oh, cave spiders. Okay, we might have to tear down some of this wood for torches. Man. Okay, how many did we get? Three. I need one more. And let's make... 32 is good. Okay. Let's take these on. It's a Scully. Scully dungeon. So we have them all here. Was well, zombie Scully spider. There's a cave spider. It's a normal spider. But th this uh, underground village thing that I'm planning could have access to all three spawners. Uh, spawn, spawn trap systems. Which I find very cool. Um, lots of room for some crazy stuff. Um, what's in the chest? Nothing good. Ooh, lots of bones from looting. Yes, the spiders are over here. Holy cow! Nope, 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 nope. Stop! Ah, <sighs> I'm nervous. Key spiders go right through armor. Jeez. Where are these spiders? Stop being poison. Yes, I could one shot them with this bow, that's right. It's power five. Dang it! Just trying to scroll the torches, and then I just ender pearled. Stop being poisoned, please. Golden rail tracks. That's odd for a chest. Is there another spawner down there? Man, I can't say enough how awesome these caves are. There is another spawner down there. I do have a. I do want to test something out though, because I believe mobs could spawn in cobwebs. But yes, we have another spawner. That's sweet. Man, I kind of want to go caving after I finish recording. This is a crazy cave. I'm not even sure if I should do this on camera or not, because this cave has a lot to offer that normal caves do not. That's for sure. 
I'm excited for this. Um, I don't have enough disk space right now for to go go out all out right now though. So, I guess I'll have to leave it for tonight. And ooh, those spawners are actually pretty close to the ravine. That makes it even more perfect. Okay, I want to find that spawn those spawners again. Oh, is yes, this is the other. This is the third dirt room, I think. No, this is the second. But I'll have to find that other dirt room too. There they are. Okay, so where? Okay, so let's dig this way. Of course, you run into gravel, but I want to see where. In comparison to the ravine, this is in. And I don't have a shovel, so I just dig through it normally. No big deal. This is, just keeps going on. Okay, this is a lot of gravel. I do need gravel, though, for those roads, from what I remember. Because the, the roads in the villages, you saw the... Um, he might have seen, because I didn't point it out. This might be beneath the ravine. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> first world problems here. I either get silk touch or fortune on my picks. Sounds... So you can't just like uh, I feels bad waste just wasting it, but Okay, what why thirty? We should be running into the ravine. Here we go. Not a bad spot at all. Sweet. So cave spi two cave spiders, skelly, spider, zombie. And then the cave spider over there too. I sense a very nice ravine town here in the future. Um, be a project I have fun working on. Um, another project before I go that I've been wanting to work on for quite a while since rivers first came out was have a crazy river system. And actually, I've been wanting river system for quite some time. Now that I've say it, and I'm on this world, because if you recall, um, in 1.7 lands, I was actually blowing up a large chunk of land to be a river, to make my own river, so to speak. And then rivers came out, so I that project kind of stopped too. Um, and I just want to colonize a river and colonize a ravine. I think those would be two good goals to have. And this ravine and the mine shaft, they just speak to me. I mean, double mine shafts with spawners like crazy. All sorts of spawners like crazy. That was five coal. <laughs> and and um, a village right on top that's already, that was there from the start. Um, this is the seas and cords, but I'm not sure how it would generate because, of course, I this I made this world in 1.7.3, and the seed was Thungon217, capital T, lowercase everything else, no spaces, my YouTube channel name, and there's 1.7 lands, and then... 1.8 kind of changed the whole generation, so who knows what's actually here now on this same seed. Um, at least it's not super long. But, there you go. And I'm quite looking forward to this little ravine system I have. Ravine, mineshaft, caves, village system that's already mostly done. And... Whoa. Hmm. It's a disadvantage, I guess, of using water because 
I thought mom sees blood in there too. Ha. <laughs> Did not realize that. Yep, as you can see the zombies are falling off with absolutely no problems. Um, the ravine is not directly beneath the village because the staircase is fairly long and it's pretty much right by the border of the village anyways so all the skylights would be outside the town walls from what I have calculate they'll be outside the town walls so it won't be ruined at all it won't we won't have holes poking in the village to worry about and so yeah, that's the update on the village and update on what I want to do since I just finished that dome. Just I'm glad it's finally done. And let's just take this away and probably best to make it cobble since endermen are mean and plentiful and should be banned. But yes, thank you for watching this 100th video. 100th public video special type deal. Um, what's down there? Nothing. Um, hope you enjoyed. And we're wanting to give roses. But he only has eyes for me. Sorry, Gollum. <laughs> but this is done, gone, and I'll see you next time.